CrazyMikeZaps.com with a quick look at iOS 7 Beta 2. iOS 7 gets its first update fixing several bugs that was causing me to hold off on doing this quick look at some of the new stuff you can expect this fall when iOS 7 goes live. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like our channel. Also share our videos, like them, that helps us. And also check out our website, CrazyMikeZaps.com for price drops every day and all of our blog posts. Here's a look at the iTunes App Store using the new app, the iTunes or the App Store app on my iOS 7. There's a wish list now. I didn't dive into it to see how it works. And you can see that there's a popular near me apps. I didn't see anything near me, so I'm waiting to see how that all shakes out. Not everything seems to be working, but we got Welcome to iTunes Radio, and that worked just fine. Very nice, very easy. It's integrated into iTunes. You can add stations. They give you a wide variety of stuff to add. You can see that there. I added some classic rock, and when I went into classic rock, I actually got a couple of alternatives there, and I chose Southern Rock, a little Leonard Skinner, what have you. And you can listen to that. You can also mute it, and you can access your regular iTunes playlist artist and things like that from within this same app. And also, you can see they're hocking the song if you want to buy it, so it's another way for Apple to make a little money. Now, going into some other stuff, swipe up from the bottom, you have access to airplane mode and Bluetooth Wi-Fi, a dis no disturb, and a couple of other things. You can see their airdrop, airplay, there's a flashlight now at the bottom, calculator, and that kind of stuff, so it's pretty cool. This is swiping down from the top. They actually give you a today mode, which is really good. I like that, the calendar's in there, it shows some other stuff, and you got your notifications, and you also got your missed stuff. Now, a little weird, this is how you get rid of stuff. You swipe down and push up to close out a program, but you can truly multitask now. You don't just have the little icons at the bottom, you can actually see all of the screens that you were on, so it's kind of like Safari that way. Access lock screen, which means you can access your bottom notifications or your bottom you know, settings as well as your top notifications. And also notice that Vimeo and Flickr are now live or native in the area there where Twitter and Facebook are. That's it for this quick look of iOS 7. Until next time, Crazy Mike, saying see ya.